Today on the channel, Elite Series 83, Edge. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and most importantly, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, all that fun stuff. And I should plug social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Follow along for all kinds of crazy content daily. That's for sure. But today, we're here, WWE Elite Series 83 Edge. We finally get a modern-day Edge. I say finally, kind of tongue-in-cheek, I guess, because he did just come back literally a year ago at the Royal Rumble as a huge surprise. But it's really cool he came back. I think it shocked everybody. Uh, we're all happy to have Edge back. I know he's out injured, but he'll be back again uh, fairly soon, I would imagine. I'm sure that'll be the end of the Randy Orton-Bray Wyatt feud. Probably Edge will get involved and catapult them back to their uh, feud as well. That's my guess. We'll see how it plays out. But cool to get an Edge, uh, a modern-day Edge. I never thought we'd say that in the Elite line. A little bit older, a little bit more grizzled, a little more grizzled veteran. Uh, and I should also mention this is the regular edition. In Elite 83, there is a Chase edition of him. I believe it's Black Tights. I don't have that one yet. Always get the chases down the road. I like the thrill of the hunt. I love the chase. No pun intended. I like to try to find those chases in store. Gives me something to search for out there. But I uh, got the regular one. That'll do for now. We'll get to the chase when we get to the chase. So here is Edge. Very, very cool. Let's look at the packaging first like we always do. We always take a look at the packaging first. Elite 83 Edge. There's the seal. We know it's not a bootleg Edge. This is a real Edge. It's certified authentic right here. The seal says it. So there we go. Right below there you got Edge's name. Modern day Edge face right over there. You got an extra set of hands. You got the black t-shirt, which is cool. And then you got Edge in the package. WWE logo up top. True effects as well on the top there. Now one crazy note is there was an error in this figure. And I guess it is being corrected. Whether or not this will be a, a figure that's worth thousands of dollars one day, I doubt it. But it is a variant. And it will be limited quantities this way. But they gave him the... Uh, two sweet hands instead of the rock and roll heavy metal hands the ronnie james dio hands we all know it as the dio hands don't give me that gene simmons you invented it you didn't it was our boy ronnie james dio one of the greatest of all times let's talk about dio the rest of the way let's do it anyways i love me some dio and i love edge too but uh he's got the uh, two sweet hands uh later versions will be corrected to the rock and roll hands uh, so really interesting, the Chase edition, I assume, has the same issue. So the Chase being a little bit harder to find with the Rocket or with the Two Sweet Hands, that one maybe will be worth more than this one, definitely. Uh, we'll see. But to me, that's not really, that's kind of nitpicking. If I want an Edge, I don't want an Edge with Two Sweet Hands anyways. I want regular hands. Uh, maybe that's just me, probably not. But there you go. So there he is. Take note of those Two Sweet Hands. There's Edge, a little on the way to the ring at the Royal Rumble last year. And you got the glamour shot. There's Edge all happy. He's happy to be back. Top, nothing fun. Legal fun on the bottom. One of these days, I'm going to read the whole thing. And we're just going to be riveted. Edge from Toronto, Canada. Six foot five, 241 pounds. Career highlights. WWE champion. WWE Intercontinental champion. WWE Hall of Fame inductee. The ultimate opportunist wanted to prove that his WrestleMania 36 victory over Randy Orton wasn't a fluke in the greatest wrestling match ever. So there you go. I guess I said this was Royal Rumble. I guess maybe this is the greatest uh, match ever, or maybe it's the WrestleMania outfit. I don't know. I, I can't remember. Um, of course, there's the whole 83 lineup down below, like we always say. So there it is. Without further ado, let's open this edge. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's doing. Very cool. But there's the background. We've seen it before. Nothing real special. See you later. Boo. There it is. All right, what do we think? I don't see any paint issues. There's a little black spot by the R, but not terrible in his uh, waist there. There it is. There's Edge, the man, the myth, the legend. I got to think a lot of people are going to want this one. A lot of people want the return Edge. I'm glad he came with a t-shirt. Uh, see you later. Uh, the t-shirt will be nice because I'll put one will have the t-shirt on, the other one will not. That'll be the difference between the chase and the regular Maybe I'll put the regular one with the shirt on. I don't know. We'll see how I feel when the time comes. He is locked in with multiple bands. He's got one around his head, around his arms, around his legs. They don't want Edge going anywhere. They want him here for good. Uh, we did a lot of years without Edge, so we, we got to make sure he's safe and 
and all in there. There you go. Got everything out. So we got to see you later. Now, these two sweet hands look absolutely ridiculous. It's like he joined the NW Wolfpack. Wolfpack is back causing mass destruction. Can't you see the bad boys are wrestling? Yeah, that, there it is. I could do the whole thing for you guys. Maybe I will one of these days. Uh, not really feeling that. So what, what I'm going to do is, uh, did you guys order the edge heads? I got multiple edge heads. You needed to have three. You needed Hawkins, Ryder. You needed edge. But they had interchangeable hands. Uh, so we do have extra hands laying around if you're one of those collectors. And I think they've had them with a few other people too. But uh, luckily I bought those. So I'm just going to swap a hand over from those. And those are going to do me just fine. I'm not going to be too worried about uh, not having the hands. So there you go. Much better. Like I said, I'll put one with the shirt on. The other one that doesn't have the shirt on, maybe I'll use the rock and roll hands for one and not the other one. Uh, one thing I can say, outside of Sasha Banks, this whole set uh seems to be very tight joints i like tight joints on my figures probably you guys do too um but uh, very be much better quality control in this set compared to some of the last sets uh, some of those late 70s sets we had so many pain issues and loose joints uh right during the height of covid it was really uh, a mess uh, to put it to put it mildly it was a mess i was really having my doubts on mattel and the product they were putting out when you compare them to star wars black series uh, NECA Ninja Turtles even, even though they got some gripes too. Um, but Marvel Legends especially, this fantastic work from the Marvel Legends team in 2020. I want wrestling figures to be to that scale and that quality. Uh, you guys know me. I love my wrestling figures. Nothing really tops wrestling for me except maybe G.I. Joe. You guys know I love me some G.I. Joe. But uh, very, very cool Edge. I like the modern day Edge. I don't know what you guys think of that head scan. I think it's all right. Not terrible. Not too bad. I'm, I never thought we would get a modern day. I mean, who thought he was going to come out of retirement? I don't think anybody thought that, so I guess there you go. Uh, let's see if we can get this shirt on him real quick. Hopefully it's not too much of a struggle. But let's see here. There it is. I always feel like I'm helping my kids when they take their Barbie's clothes off. Dad, can you get this shirt back on? Can you put these pants on her? That's what I, I have flashbacks to doing that. A daughter of two girls. You got to help them with that all the time. Let's see. It's a little. It's very tight shirt, which I do. I like uh, tight shirts on uh, the wrestling figures. I think they work so much better. Uh, sometimes in the past we've had really loose shirts where they just look kind of hobbled together. But when they're tighter, they're more form fitting. All that kind of fun stuff. I, they always seem to look much much better. If I can get it over his armband here. That'll do. So he's got the Edge Rated R Superstar. Metal horns. He's got the metal horns on his kick pads as well. There he is. I don't know. Shirt on, shirt off. I guess when you get the chase, you got an easy way. You can choose between the two. You can figure it out what you want to do. So there it is. Uh, for me, is it the top? This could be one of the top figures in this lineup. I'm going to have to really put the pen to paper. Going to have to do the math. Maybe go down to the corner store and uh, visit the psychic. She sits back behind the counter. And she uh, reads your fortunes, and I might have to hit her up and say, hey, help me with this. Help me with this decision. I got a heck of a decision for Elite 83. I got to put these in order at the end of the video. I got to let people know uh, the order to buy these in. If they're picking and choosing, there's a lot of pressure on me. So uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it. But I think this will be near the top, not near the bottom. So I'm, I'm really happy to have an edge back. Anytime we get the Ronnie James Dio horns going, uh, be it on his shirt, be it on his thighs, be it on his tights, be it on his uh, kick pads, wherever you want to do it, be it on his hands, I'm good for it. So there it is. That's Edge, Series 83, a very, very solid figure, a must-have, and I think this is one that will probably fly off the shelves uh, at a pretty good clip here in 2021, and I expect a lot more Edges to come as well. I should have mentioned a little earlier, uh, on the heels of this one, this one will be out, but right on its heels, we're going to have a new Ultimate Edition Edge figure. So it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Ultimate Edition will be a younger Edge, but maybe they'll surprise us and throw a later day head scan in. Uh, time will tell, but i got to think it'll lean towards the younger Edge. But we've got a lot of Edge figures lately. We've got that new WrestleMania one, the Ultimate Edition one that's coming out, the Elite 83 here, and then we got the Ringside Collectibles exclusive 3-in-1 pack. So a lot of edges churning and burning. I got to think he's coming back from injury very soon, and that's going to fire up the ignition again, and we'll have some more edges out there. So be prepared for an edge onslaught in 2021. I'm calling it, but, you know, there's a lot uh, worse guys that could be making figures up. So I'm cool with some more edges. I think you guys probably are as well. So there you have it. Elite Series 83, our boy, Edge.
So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this Elite Series 83 unboxing and review. If you did, let me know in the comments your thoughts on this figure. Don't forget to like the page. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got videos every single day. Star Wars, Marvel Legends, Marvel Select, Wrestling, AEW, WWE, Storm Collectibles, Masters of the Universe, NECA, Ninja Turtles, the list goes on for days. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And until next time, for the whole Elite 83 lineup, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.